Hey guys, welcome back to another NFL prediction video. And this isn't so much prediction. Yes, this will be pre-recorded. This will be made before my last NFL prediction video of the regular season. But we are nowhere close to that point yet. I wish we were. Because I found out some of the cool interactiveness you can have within the NFL. So here's how this works. If you go to NFL.com and you make an account, you'll be able to do things such as predict every every game. Like, and you get you get you get points. There's this game you play. I'll let you guys know what it is. So yeah, guys, there's this game called Weekly Pick'em, and what you do. You have to predict a whole bunch of teams and who wins and all that shit. So, so yeah. I don't know what the fuck this is. I think these are random games. I think the darker areas are the one are the ones that I chose, and the uh, the lighter areas are the ones that I neglected. So like. And they're probably showing the big games of every week or something like that. Because, I mean, this is on Thursday night, and I chose the Cardinals to beat the Niners. I chose the Dolphins over the Titans. I chose the Steelers over the Jets. I chose the fucking Colts over the Bears. The Vikings over the Texans. The Eagles over the Lions. The Ravens over the Redskins. The Patriots over the Browns. These are just random games. The Broncos over the Falcons, the Raiders over the Chargers. So I'm assuming that's the home game for the Raiders because I chose the Raiders um, to win for the home game. So Bengals over Cowboys, Rams over Bills, Packers over Giants, and Panthers over Buccaneers. And these are just random games. Like I don't know when they're, when they're going to take place either. Like they just chose random games. Oh, this is fucking week five. I didn't fucking notice. Well, it's showing all the team teams I picked. I didn't choose Tennessee to win too many games, so yeah. So weekly pick them. Just make an NFL.com account, and then you can easily just, you know, do this. Let's go back to this. So anyway, I think this is more efficient than the one that NFL.com actually made. Because... Because NFL.com, it literally just, you know, you, you choose a bunch of random teams to just win certain games. Like, you choose teams to win four, four, their four last games. And if they, uh, and if you're, and, and whatever you choose will be whatever you get. Like, it, it's a bad system. Don't try it. If you look up the, the NFL playoff predictions video, not, not video, NFL NFL playoff predictor. If if you go to that, you'll know how badly it is. Now go to NFLplayoffpredictor.com because that is more handy. And it and it goes by the, the by the regular season of this year. So I will let you guys know my top seeds for every team, for every division. So I have the Steelers winning the AFC North 13 to three. And I say this this right here, the the AFC North and the and and the AFC South are probably the most accurate ones. Because you see I have the Jets as nine and seven, but it's actually ten and six. Like, trust me though, I have the Jets out of the playoffs anyway. They're 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 like one away. And the uh the Raiders are eight. They are third in the division. And uh, I apparently I have the Chargers as number one in the division, and the Chiefs just below them. Like I I had a feeling it would be a tie, or the Chargers just did a little bit better. Like I have the Chiefs winning. I I have it a split series. The Chiefs win at home, and the Chargers win away. I think the Chargers will just do good this year, like compared to last year. So you got the Chargers winning that division. You got the Steelers winning the AFC North. You got the Colts winning the AFC South. And you got the Patriots winning the AFC East. Then you got the Packers, which actually both the Packers and the uh, 
the Vikings got to go just as well as the Steelers and the Ravens. So, yeah. Just to let you know, guys, I had it all set up differently. And the one I'll disagree with the most is that uh, is that Carolina goes to the playoffs. Like I personally think New Orleans or New Orleans will be ten and six, not nine and seven. Like it was just so it was just so difficult to like I, I was enjoying this so much because it's really accurate and I really like how it's set up. So I was excited to check out all the all the uh, records and stuff, like seeing how good a team is and seeing how bad a team is. And the Broncos just so happened to turn out as the last place team in the AFC, in the AFC West, because, you know, they were the Super Bowl champions last year with a 12-4 and four record, and now they're not even going to go to the playoffs because 8-8 eight and eight doesn't cut it. Now, if you realize that this division chart here, all of them have won three games. I, I gave all three of them three and three records in the division column. Like I had the Raiders three and zero, oh, and then I put, and then they all of a sudden became three and three. Now the one you guys will probably disagree with the most will, will be the Eagles winning and the uh, Rams winning, and especially because they're the number one seed. So it means them and the Packers will be, they'll be just sitting. They'll be sitting nicely while the other teams suffer. I I could just redo this whole thing and then have certain teams win it all. Like just have the bad teams suck and then have the good teams do good. Like I could just look up these matches from the past. So like you can just tap any one of these weeks one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen, or you can go to wild card division, conference or Super Bowl. Now it should be CC Conference Championship, not CG. What does that mean? So yeah, I hope you guys know. So I have the Ravens and the Chiefs as a wild card this year, and I have the Chargers. I have the Chargers and the Colts as the uh, three and four seed. Now I'm gonna get rid of all these. Now I'm gonna think a little bit. What really are they? Are they good teams or no? Like I'm just I'm just trying to think here. Which team should go? Which ones shouldn't? So think about the matchup: the Ravens at the Chargers. Which which the AFC part I actually got right regardless on the seed because I thought it would be the Ravens and the Chargers and the Chiefs and the Colts. But you have to think. Are these teams really teams that should win? Are these teams good enough to be the home team or no? Like, personally, I think that the Chargers are gonna uh, are gonna beat the Ravens, and I'm going by uh, 2013 when the Chiefs were up like 44 to 10 or something like that. Like they were fucking destroying them. They came back by seven touchdowns. That is. Not seven, but five. That is all out fucking ridiculous. So, based off of that bad performance, I mean, Kansas City, I already have Kansas City in the regular season losing to the Colts. So then I have the Colts playing the Chiefs at home. So, yeah, that'll pretty much be a loss for the Chiefs and a loss for the Ravens. So the wild card teams aren't going to win this year. But however, I do have the Seahawks winning because because during the regular season I have them at home winning. But the thing about the Seahawks is uh that they could have been like nine and seven last year and they were actually not really good at all. Like I just think Seattle makes so many improvements to where they're back to where they were. And plus it's so much easier to keep players in, in the NFL to to the next season, like it's so so much easier to keep players to the next season than it is in college because in college you only have them for so many years and then they want to go to pro. Like you only have them for maybe three years and they go pro. And you see, if you're in college, you don't have to. If you're college and you get recognized really well, you don't have to try out. You'll get drafted. And if you get drafted, it pretty much means you're going to be playing in the NFL. 
and you're going to be playing in the NFL for as long as your contract says you will. If you want to rip up that contract, I don't know what happens, but yeah. So I'm giving the Seahawks a win, and I'm going to give the Eagles. I actually thought it would be different. I thought it would be the Saints, so think about it that way. Saints or Panthers, because I think they have a tie record, but it just said the, the Panthers are better. But if you look at the division record here, um, up here. Oh, never mind. They have a better division record. What the fuck am I talking about? So, yeah. The Panthers are... The Panthers are there, but I don't really think it's the Panthers. I think it's the Saints that go. I think the Saints are going back to the playoffs as the number four seed, and they will. And it do, and it doesn't matter anyway. They're still gonna. Like Panthers are at number three though, and the Eagles are at number uh, four. So like for example, if it were the Saints instead. I had the Eagles going number three, though, so it would be the Eagles and the Seahawks. But I think the Seahawks will be any three of those teams. So, yeah, Eagles are legit fucked if they have to play the Eagles. No, 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 the Eagles are fucked if they have to play the Seahawks, especially there because it's really loud there, so it's, it's probably really hard. But yet the Cardinals don't have any problem playing there and winning. So I'm going to give the Eagles a victory, like... Because I'm not, I'm thinking it's not going to be Minnesota. Well, yeah, technically it is, but I'm just going to go with the upset. Since the Eagles already, I already gave them a loss to Minnesota, and I don't think Minnesota's going all the way. Like, 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 the NFC, like, that would, if all the NFC teams, that were wild card one. If the two wild card teams on the NFC won, but the AFC, the 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 expected winners were the ones to win. Like it's just fucking weird. I I'm not talking right. Like it would just be so weird if both wild cards on the NFC won, but but the wild cards lost in the AFC. So let's just move on to division. Don't listen to my lingo. So we got the Chargers at the Steelers and the Colts at the Patriots. I'm automatically giving the Patriots a win there because the Colts never win at the Patriots. So the Patriots are already advancing to the conference championship. But you see, though, I think that the Steelers game will come first. So we're not going to predict that because, you see, it goes by the lower seat, like how it starts out. First, it's going to be four and five. The thing about three and six, though, is if you have three and six first, like the four, the four and five seed are already going to know they face it, they win. So, like last year, like last year, there was legit no chance for Houston to go to the, to move on in the playoffs. I I would have been so cool if they had to play the Patriots, but I don't think it was going to happen. I I expected the Chiefs to win no matter what. And you see, I was in Houston, and they lost worse than they did in the regular season. So that's not much effort showing that they want to go to the uh, Super Bowl. I mean, the Steelers showed quite a bit of effort last year in that one Denver game. And all they had to do was get that one touchdown with Tucson, and that would have been game. That would have been game. They, they beat Denver 2012. But you see... The thing about Denver is they, they got a touchdown and they tied the game. The thing is, the Steelers will be less under pressure if if it were tied rather than being down by, uh, what, seven points? And uh, you need a touchdown within a certain amount of time to win the game. You see, there was a lot of pressure without the good players. Like, like our 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 good players were injured by the Bengals before we even got there like Antonio Brown was injured by the Bengals before we even got to uh Denver so so Antonio Brown didn't get to play and pretty much pretty much Cincinnati was a little bit scared that uh Steelers could be winning another Super Bowl and the fact that Cincinnati will probably never win a Super Bowl or not within my lifetime, or if football even exists. I shouldn't be talking about Super Bowls, because you know, 
I'm supposed to be predicting these games. So I'm going Steelers, Pates, Pats. Damn, I'm, I'm fucking saying it. Oh. They apply our NFL styles. So I had the Steelers 13 and 3. They won their game. That's 14 and 3. And the Patriots are also that. So, uh, should I give the Eagles a win or the Packers a win? Well, let's see. In the regular season, I would give the Eagles a win because they're at home. But this is in Green Bay. This decision is kind of hard to make. But, but first of all, I'm just going to say St. Louis wins because it's a home game. But that would be so terrible if it were the one and two seed. You know what? I'm predicting the Eagles to go all the way as the underdog. Like, even though technically, technically in their first game they weren't an underdog, but they are now. So, now I really have to think. We are now in the conference championship game. The Steelers are going to be playing the Patriots at the Patriots. So, I'll be back in a minute. Oh, hey guys, look at this. Look at fucking this. Tom Brady threw for a season highs of 432 yards and four touchdowns. Rob Gronkowski had a career high nine receptions, and the New England Patriots beat the Steelers 55-31 on Sunday. The 55 points were the most scored in an in an NFL game this season, and the most ever scored against the Steelers. Now, you can tell that if the Steelers are being scored on by 55 points, and that is a new record, then very well consider it the worst season the Steelers have ever had in their uh, in their 83-year history, or 84, I don't know, what the fuck, that's not right. So, yeah, they got fucking whooped by the Patriots. They, however, last year they got their asses whooped. I don't know, and and I even give them, like, they fucking got their asses whooped in 2013 last year. They they barely lost. I'm assuming the last time we played, we won. And uh, I predict that the Steelers lose at home to the Patriots. So why not give the Steelers a little revenge? So there you go. There's one of my Super Bowl picks, the Pittsburgh Steelers. Fuck. So I'm giving the Steelers the win against the Patriots, like, not, not a fucking tie. You, you can't fucking have a tie, and you can't have a tie and go to the Super Bowl. Plus, they're going to keep making overtimes until you do win. So if there's the, there's the possibility the playoffs could go on for freaking 50 years. And uh, make that the the longest football game in NFL history. So the Rams and the Eagles. Let's go look up one of those two. Wow, they were 10-6 and six and didn't make the fucking playoffs. They played the fucking Rams. Where's that game at, huh? That's where that fucking game is. Don't give a shit about none of this shit. Show us the goddamn games. And nobody gives a shit about the Denver Broncos. Ugh. I don't give a damn shit about this shit. I want to see the game. Did they play the fucking Rams? Yeah, and they won 34 to 28. That was a fucking home game. Don't give a shit about the Patriots and Steelers. That game already is over with, according to this. So, uh, should I give the Eagles a win or a loss? Let's see. Last time they beat the Rams, last time they played the Rams, they beat them. And they don't have Nick Foles anymore. But I don't really know. Let's see, they have Jeff Fisher. 
Let's see. I had the Eagles and the Steelers, but I don't know. I'm going to go with the Eagles. You know what? I'm going with the freaking Eagles. Like, you know, they're just my team. I think it's going to be two Pennsylvania teams this year going down south to Houston to go play in the Super Bowl. So there's my Super Bowl game, guys. Steelers will be considered the home team. Now, earlier that season, I, I gave, in week three, I gave the Steelers a loss to the Eagles by maybe, what, six points? I think they might win 23-17. So, revenge, Steelers win the Super Bowl. So, I hope you love this, guys. I want you... You know what, guys? I want you guys to send me a screenshot on Twitter. I'd love you guys to send me some tweets um, with your fucking screenshots or whatever. You know what? I'm going to post my bracket on Twitter. I'm going to make you guys vote for each team. And, and whoever votes and lets, notifies me that they vote, I might even give you a shout-out before the shout-out contest is even a thing. So, you know... Just send me your brackets. Just tell me what team you, out of my bracket you think will win. I, I won't give you as big as a shout out. I might just put a shout out in the description. But if you, but I'll dedicate a whole video to you if you make your own. And you're right. So I really would love for you guys to do that because you know it really shows me that you guys appreciate what I what I make for you guys. This content I make. And I'll make more of it, too, if you guys request that in the future. So thank you guys for watching. And be sure to check my Twitter later. Bye.